<laughs> Yo, this shit shreds, bro. That shit's crazy. What's good YouTube, it's your boy Jay back with another video. In today's video we have a build video. And this build video I already dropped gameplay for it. I dropped it last Saturday. So if you guys are looking for that video, that video will be in the link in the description below. But before we get into this build, build review. If you like my content, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. You know, we gotta get more exposure out here. Cause road to 500 subs by the end of the year. That's it's our goal, but anyway. No further ado, let's get into the build. So as you see here, obviously I got both of my houses already optimized. You already know what I'm saying. Both of them already fully optimized. The first one I got, so preserved, unforgiving. Don't really worry about self-preserved. Is this that's just the best role I can get? And this one, whew, got responsive and competent. Gotta love it, gotta love it. I wish it was unforgiving, and that would make it even ten times better, but this will work. Chest piece, I got reckless, got health, skill haste, reason why I'm running reckless, just to get that extra damage output, and I got ammo capacity on it. And here we have the Nomad Mask for a health one kill, because I'm running Ninja Bite. So this gives me that 50% health one kill. This is important, because I'm going to be somewhat squishy, but I will be able to get kills like crazy. So that way I can keep stacking my health back as I get kills. So that's why I'm running the Nomad Mask with critical hit chance. Obviously just to stack my crit. Knee pads as usual, um, health, all resistances. I'm running tactician knee pads for that extra skill host. You'll see when I'm running a build, uh, showing you my skills. I'm not running skill haze this time because I have the extra skill haze from using tactician. So I'm just running critical hit chances to increase my crit because I really want to go for a lot of damage output while being able to get my skills back pretty like fairly quickly. Then we got the gloves, obviously SMG damage, critical hit chance, critical hit damage, basic run of the mill. This is like, if you run a DPS, this is something that you're definitely going to have critical hit, damage, chance, and whatever weapon you're using damage. Then we, as we see, you got Ninja Bike Backpack, um, roll towards skill, it doesn't have to be roll towards skill, you can roll towards whatever you want. Um, it doesn't have to be roll towards critical hit damage, I wouldn't... Uh, recommend that you can actually roll that for something else that's more important and I have ammo capacity which I really don't need so my mods running all stamina mods with skill haste and then I'm also running prototype mods for first aid so as you see here I got the booster shot and I have the immune station the reason why I'm running booster shot is because it mixes with competent and it gets my skill backs really fast because it's only like 29 uh, per cooldown, so that's pretty good. Then for my other talents, I got on the move, precision, critical hit save, and strike back. Reason why I'm running on the move, obviously, I'm gonna be getting killed, so I wanna stack up my toughness. Precision works as my pulse if my teammate's not running pulse. Strike back, I'm gonna be hitting a lot of low uh, health, so I wanna have my cooldowns as quick as possible. And then also, critical save, obviously, I'm gonna be on low health very frequently so I want to be able to pop med kits and get out of there and just shred so this concept of the build is running ground uh, play style while you're also getting health back from your skills because they're coming back very quickly on top of um, being able to shred be able to shred people and getting health on kill back which is really really good especially if you're like a really good PvP -er, this build is gonna go really good for you but anyway let's take this time to quickly talk about the latest news on the Division 2. So if you pre-order right now, because pre-orders are open now, if you pre-order right now, you will get the private beta and you will get the Capital Defender Pack DLC. And that also comes with a standard, which is only $60. So they have standard, gold, ultimate. They have the uh, Division 2 Dark Zone Definitive Edition. And they have the Division 2 Phoenix Shield Collector's Edition. So I'm gonna touch, I'm gonna briefly touch on the, uh, the Dark Zone 2. I mean the Dark Zone Definitive Edition and the Phoenix Shield Collector's Edition because these are the two that are exclusively on the Ubisoft store. So the Dark Zone Definitive Edition, that go, that'll run you about like 190. You get that from the Ubisoft store and this version includes everything in the Ultimate plus a, a 30CM high figurine of Heather Ward, a book of lithographs, the game soundtrack, um, and a Washington, Washington DC Mac like packed all together 
and then with the division 2 phoenix shield collector's edition that'll run you about 250 dollars which is crazy but i guess if you're a fan you're a fan but this edition comes with everything in the ultimate plus a figurine of brian johnson a steel book metal case ubisoft store exclusive a book of lithographs and the selected game soundtrack with a washington dc map just like the other one so that'll run you about 250 I'm going to slowly pop on the screen and you guys can see what you will get from the standard gold and ultimate editions. Me personally, I think I'm going to pick up the ultimate edition because I feel, I feel like that would be the best bang for your buck in my opinion. Especially if you plan on getting the season pass, that would be definitely the best bill, yeah, the best deal, I mean. Um, so that's why I'm getting it. Um, if you don't plan on getting the season pass though, I would just... Just get the standard. Just get the standard edition. And just pre-order it. Um, but honestly, if you think if you can see yourself really playing this game, just either just go with the ultimate. There's really no point in getting the gold. Um, it's only ten dollars more, so you're paying only an extra ten dollars just to get like extra stuff. So you might as well just go ahead and go with the ultimate. Just get it and just get that out the way. But anyway, it's your boy Jay. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one.